So here's a here's a tip, a rock hunting tip. To find the good stuff, what you need to do is turn off your camera and put it in your pocket. And then the good stuff will show up. That's it. Well, so. good day, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. I just got back in the truck from walking a field. I have a friend who uh, farms uh, not too far from me, and um, he has a section of one of his fields here that he calls the the rock garden, uh, and the soil is very rocky there, and um, as you can guess if you've watched my channel for any length of time, uh, what it is uh, is exposed glacial material, glacial till. And, um, I mean, it's surrounded by good uh, black topsoil, uh, the rest of the fields that I walked through. Um, but this, it, it either washed out, it's kind of hilly here, or um, it was never covered up with uh, the, the topsoil that's uh, around it anyway uh, from the beginning. So, who knows? Um, but uh, it was a good day. It was a really good day. Um, found some good things, including uh, the piece that will be the piece to beat this summer. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy the journey. Stay tuned. This little piece here looks like it has some more clearish. clear with pattern in there, so I might take that home and get a better look at it. Here's a nice, show some nice clear to blue um, color in it, so take that and throw it in the tumbler, see how well it cleans up. I didn't bring my uh, didn't bring a spray bottle with me, so all this that I'm taking is going to have to wait till later to get a better look at it, and uh, which means some of it I'll have to discard because it's not as good as I thought it was. That's okay. It's just a rock. Here's a, a piece that I just pulled out. Another piece of blue-gray. Quartz, um, silica of some form. I don't know if you'd call that jasper or chert or or what, but it's got a really nice color to it. I like it. Blue is hard to find, and so when I find anything that has that blue hint to it, I pick it up. So here's a piece of chert, chert or jasper, I guess, that um, is kind of green in color. So I think I'm going to take that greenish gray, just something different than the standard white. Okay, this is why we go rock hunting, right here. See those bands in it? Some of them may be fractures, but... Um, those are some pretty serious bands there. Yeah, this is exactly why we go rock hunting, isn't it? Wow. You can see it through the mud. You can see the bands through the mud. Okay. Hold on and I'll show you a picture of this cleaned up. So, as I've said several times, you know, I, I can't go rock hunting without finding a piece of petrified coral. And um, here we go. I, I didn't know whether this was a piece of granular, kind of a big chunky uh, granite type rock or not, but I picked it up. And I don't know if I'll be able to focus very well on it. But um, you can see the structure of that rock. Those are 
those are the tubes or I don't know what you call them the cells of granite or of uh, of uh, coral of course everything else is muddy I'll take that and clean it up there you can see the the honeycomb pattern just a little bit on the muddy side so I'll clean that up and show you here okay folks bad news um, that particular piece of coral did not make it home. I am not quite sure how that happened, but I think it's reasonable to assume that one of the times that I put down my bag, um, the bag fell over and that rock rolled out. So I did what isn't any reasonable as an insane person would do, and I went back out to look to see if I could find it. One specific rock in a field full of rocks and uh, needless to say I didn't find it um, I did decide to make the best of the moment though and brought home another bag full of rocks including an additional piece of petrified coral and so that piece I will show you right now So I just picked up this piece, and um, because I thought this this part up here, there, this part up here, I thought was maybe a fossil. I got looking at that and thought, hmm, those almost look like dendrites. There, kind of a chert with den dendritic chert. And then I thought, well, maybe this is just a fracture, and it shows that it's clear underneath, but then. Maybe that's just a vein of quartz in there. Anyway, I'm going to take this home and clean it up and maybe slice it and see what it looks like on the inside. It looks just kind of like an ugly rock right here, but um, yeah, I'll take that. So I'm standing in a, in a section that actually is, is pretty, there's quite a bit of rock here. And I just realize and I think it's kind of interesting if you look over this area and I don't know how well this is going to show on the screen but there's a band of really dark soil and then over just over there there's some lighter soil again and the soil that I'm standing in is is lighter soil so the lighter soil which is typical of glacial till is actually where I'm finding all the rocks at and there's a like I said, the, the areas where there's really dark soil, that's good prairie soil there, that's the good farm soil, there's not hardly any rocks in. But, um, so there's this little wash that has some dark soil in it, um, this little dip, and so I have to cross over that and I go over there and there's more rocks on top of that little mound. So, I don't know, that's, that's just the way it goes. The glacial till tends to be lighter colored and um, more clay based and a lot of rocks. So here's another piece of um, kind of the blue agate type material. I'm gonna take that. It's a blue silica or a blue chalcedony. I really like the color. I hope it polishes up and keeps that color. Just realized that it might have some slight banding in there as well, at least on the top of the rock. So that should that should look really nice. Here's some really dark blue, almost black. Um, I just cut up a piece of this in the shop um, a couple days ago and uh, nice stuff, nice piece. Something says that I need to take this and, ooh, there's some crystals. Um, take this and cut.
cut it open. This right here is botryoidal or botryoidal and um, that usually accompanies some sort of banding. Um, so got some crystals and we I think I'm gonna have to take that. So here's a here's a tip a rock hunting tip uh, to find the good stuff to find the good stuff what you need to do is turn off your camera and put it in your pocket and then the good stuff will show up that's it so here's a piece which I didn't know but it's got all kinds of swirls and lines in there and there again, you turn it over to its muddy side and you can even see it through the mud. Um, so yeah, that's a fun piece right there. So look at this. Um, it's almost like there's worm trails on this rock. And um, it's not because the rock is dirty and yeah, there are bugs and worms that have crawled over it, but no, it's actually in the stone. And um, I already flipped it over and there's the same thing on the back. So this is not a silica, this is probably limestone. But what do they call that, a, uh, a trace, trace fossil? Or it's probably the track of some animal. Um, I'm gonna have to take that just as a it's kind of an interesting specimen and the first time I've found something like that. Now if this rock were in the river I, I would be kind of skeptical. I've learned that the river can stain things and and uh, the the black color here is probably just um, a staining. But this is in the field, and I can see that there's a there's just a lot of a lot going on in that rock. So I think that's a good candidate to take home and cut and see what really is in there, whether it's fossils or whether it's an agate material, or if there's some clarity to it to take that and find out. So I've left the rock garden and um, I'm kind of wandering aimlessly around his fields here. I picked up this piece, um, just had a look to it that interested me and um, turned it over and noticed something that's almost like a jasper on one side and quartz in the middle and who knows what's on this side because it's dirty but yeah I'm gonna bring that up and see what it looks like and then just stopped here and this is this is a pretty common looking and plain piece of chert but it had some really nice banding in it or layering, whatever you want to call it, the one end. Some very interesting patterns. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to take that as well. So, I don't know how big a piece this is, but it's got a really smooth fracture to it. Yeah, focus. It's got some nice bandings, some banded shirt there. Well, I'm going to close the video here. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and I'll close this video out with a few pictures of pieces that I picked up but didn't show earlier on in the video. So be well and we'll catch you the next time.